I love how you said a bit of trouble. It's a bit of trouble. <laughs> 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 What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna take you guys to some of the must try best steaks in Sydney in 2022. So pretty much most of the restaurants that we're gonna cover in this video are new-ish restaurants, like they've opened within the last few months. And what better way to start this video than to start with Sydney steak expert, Jed Ventures! Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> okay, so it's unofficial, but this guy, he knows and loves his steak. He cooks it a lot, so. I trust him. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here at Potts Point right now, and our first up is, hold on a minute. Okay, see, so as I said, we're here at Potts Point right now to check out the first stop in our must try steaks here in Sydney in 2022. We're here at the new parlor. So it's Frank or Brasserie's sister restaurant, and it's just right across, like it's actually like next to each other, same complex. Without further ado, let's go. This is kava. It's what sparkling wine? I don't know. Like comment down below. This is considered as like sparkling wine. Jed and I are inside the parlor now and we ordered a few things. So the main focus of this video is the steaks here, the meat here. So we ordered their Wagyu flank, I think it's an MB8 plus flank steak with Pedro Jimenez and some other stuff in there. We ordered a Wagyu Carpaccio, the rump cut, Bonito Alioli. We also got some piece of blood sausage sandwich, a bravest patatas gratin. How good are they with their steak in this restaurant? We'll find out. I love how you said a bit of trouble. It's a bit of trouble. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> oh my gosh, Jose. Bro, you are spoiling us. Thanks for the kingfish. Thanks for the truffles that you added in the Morcilla sandwich. And... Mm. And the churros. The churros is amazing. The little mommy. It's a savory churro. Thanks for the truffles, bro. This Morcilla sandwich, the blood sauce sandwich, freaking amazing. That's the Wagyu Carpaccio or rum. Oh wow. That's super smoky, a lot of mommy buttery. And that pickled like in there, that's amazing. Mm. Wow. Okay now, so we're here for the star of the show. What we're here for is the steak. This is their Wagyu flank. It's the uh, it's the MBA Plus. Bro, who's saying this is a bit shady man? <laughs> Thank you. The truffles. This is gonna taste great. Uh, let's try to flank now. Put a bit of um, truffle. Man, that Pedro Jimenez sauce is amazing. It takes that steak to the next level. It's, the steak is buttery, it's fatty, full of flavor. Love the char around it. All the caramelized umami around that steak is amazing. <laughs> Bro, what's your British? I agree with what you said. The truffle is cheating. That tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, even though, like, even though he's used the truffle, it's still amazing because he's used the babette steak, basically a flank. It's a type of steak that cooks really well um, with sauces. It's also at a medium rare. You have to kind of like have it medium rare and then cut it against the grain, which they've done perfectly. So exactly like what Raph said, it's got this beautiful crust, but then inside you have no gray areas. It's like straight up crust and then the beautiful medium rare pink that kind of fades into the meat. And you can tell it's well rested because it's not bleeding out. There is no way I could have said that as beautiful as the way <laughs> Jed described all that. That was beautiful. All right, we're just gonna keep eating and then we will take you to, the, well, I will take you to the next restaurant. Wow. 
what? Yeah. What's that? Is that like MB7? That's a yes. seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So that's a commentary farm. So that's uh, between nine and ten years old. And yeah, it's much more, I'd say, labour some as in bovine sort of beefiness, yeah. but a bit more toothsome, more yeah. tougher as such, you know, yeah. compared to this, like butter. Yeah. That's a sirloin. Um, so that's a sirloin dry on age. the bone. Yeah, dry aged on the yeah. bone. That's been dry aged for um, four weeks. All right, so we're here at Botswana Butchery now, which is, it, I think it's the third restaurant now. The original restaurant is in New Zealand, and they opened up here in Sydney like a few months ago. And I'm super excited. I've heard so many good things about this place. Apparently the steak is amazing, and the lovely Emma's joining us. <laughs> all right, so there we got uh, the Siberian caviar. There we go, guys. Let's go and bar. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we're doing a caviar shot. Never done one. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not ready to hold on. Yeah, boy. We just had our caviar shot. First time I've ever done one, and it tasted like there was like cheese in that, but it's like pure caviar. And then we, we chased it up with a shot of vodka. It was hectic. All right, so it's pretty quick. I know we're here for the steak, but let me just quickly tell you some of the things that we're having. So we're having like there's like yellowfin tuna dishes. There's um, like sashimi. We got like otoro in here. We have um, like a tuna tartar and like some kashi hikari rice, like a sushi rice. Hiramasa kinky. Darren is like really spoiling us tonight. If you want like your all rounder like seafood meat sort of like choices here in the city, check out Botswana Butcher. The main star tonight is a steak which is a ribeye at MB7+. Plus. So this is the Hiramasa Kingfish skin. Let's go. Okay, I know it's about steak, but let me try some fish. Mm. Consume around it, it's really nice. All right, so just really quick, we're having that lobster right now. Mmm, what a buttery goodness, what a butter sauce, wow. All right, so our 1.5 kilograms of ribeye steak is here. We're ready, let's go. And so here we go, we're going for our 1.5 kilograms of ribeye, MBA plus, look at that. I'm gonna try it first with the horseradish. This is the moment that we're waiting for, the steak radish. That is super flavorsome, a lot of umami. It's, it's quite buttery as well. Seasoned and cooked perfectly. And it's a little bit smoky too. Get that gravy with that. Yeah, gravy is garlic. It's smoky. It's quite vibrant as well. Going for that um, duck fat potato with thyme and salt. Mmm, oh, there's so much flavor in that. There's some Roman greens with almond as well. Oh, man. Got some sweet notes. Hella smoky. This place is amazing. We're gonna keep eating and I'll see you guys at the next restaurant. The following day. Okay, so our next stop, Cedric's. All right, so we're here at Cedric's now. So I've shown you two expensive steaks. Now we're in a more approachable, more affordable steak option here in Sydney. That is amazing for its price point. This is so. This is like a simple tri-tip steak with some fries. They can't have steak without drinks, right? So, so this one's called the Rock Melon Tommy, which is a the Rock Melon Tommy is a tequila-based drink. Kind of like a margarita. If you don't know, Cedric is a cafe by day, no bar or restaurant at night. Before we get into that steak, man. oysters. Finally, the steak has arrived. Those kinds of chips, this BAF chips, man. Perfectly seasoned, crisp on the outside, fluffy on the inside. And here's the steak, guys. We've got a 
tri-tip right here. I mean, it looks absolutely beautiful. And I love that sauce or like jus, whatever. It's kind of like a demi glaze. It's like good thick consistency. It's got a lot of umami in there. Almost caramelly. It's so buttery. It's so fatty. It's so rich. And it's smoky as fuck. All right, so that's part one of mushroom steaks in Sydney. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Where's your favorite place for steak in 2022? Like, is there any new places that's opened recently and you love their steak? That's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button and smash it if you want to. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that notification bell so that you're up to date with all my videos. I will see you in the next video. Until then, peace out.